are they putting there now? Dad. Unless you've been living under a rock, or a pile of debt, you may have noticed tuition prices have been skyrocketing. I've noticed. College is more expensive now than it's ever been before. Well, not exactly. Long ago, education was seen as a luxury as opposed to a necessity. The only people who were able to afford schooling were the wealthy. Can you believe that mean old Miss Jenkins assigned 20 math problems for homework? And on the weekend, too. But if that's the case, why is it that I was able to pay my college tuition working a summer job? And nearly every time the government becomes involved with providing a good or service, the price has gone up. And at some point, people felt college was too expensive and that Uncle Sam was best suited to solve this problem. So the government began subsidizing student loans. And for as greedy as you might want to claim some colleges are, they can only charge what people are able to pay. Once the government began to subsidize these loans, tuition prices skyrocketed. And that's because according to the National Bureau for Economic Research, colleges respond to financial aid by increasing tuition. So if anyone can get a loan, schools can charge a much higher price? Yep. In the end, it was the wide availability of easy money which led to high tuition costs, not the privatization of universities. And what should really shock you is that a ton of the money has gone to more administrators, not better classrooms or more professors. So I'm doomed to be saddled with debt and I'm not even gonna get a better education? No! Now that we know where all the tuition increases are coming from, we can start to solve the problem by trying to get rid of all these federal subsidies. And colleges may be pricey, but in the meantime, there are plenty of ways to stay frugal. For one thing, there are all kinds of incredible ways to learn valuable skills and knowledge without going to college at all. And a lot of them are free, like Khan Academy or MIT's Open Courseware. Plus, there are affordable trade schools that teach super lucrative skills that can get you right into a high demand career. But if you really do need a college degree, you could attend community college for your first two to three years of school, get good grades, transfer into the university you plan on graduating from, do your best to negotiate some sort of scholarship, and work while you're in school to help offset the costs. These are all things I did, and my degree ended up costing a fraction of what it ordinarily would have. Wow, you sound like a pretty good example. What was your degree in? Was it engineering or law or a PhD in medicine? Bachelor of Fine Arts. Hey, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please check out fee.org for more entertaining and educational content.